hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video it's going to be centered around email notification so i'm going to be walking you guys through setting up your emails for um, notification in our previous video we had gone ahead to customize our case management module which was the first video for this series today's video is going to be email settings so setting up your email if you've not seen the previous video please kindly pause this and watch the previous video before you continue with this i'm going to leave the link below or up on the screen so let's go ahead and log in so once you log in you can see the email settings it's not been set up yet so we'll just go ahead and do that now click on admin once you click on admin you scroll down to email settings so this is it click on email settings so here you want to impute your email credentials so whatever credentials you want to use you can go ahead and do that here your name so for me i'm going to be using the name of my company which is noras claudia then from address I'm going to use do not reply at gmail.com so you can use whatever you want for yours and I'll be making use of Gmail here as well so you click on Gmail and you can see the SMTP is automatically populated so you want to go ahead and impute the email address and password for that email you want to use Okay, then the port. This is the port for Gmail. And then you want to use SSL. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead to send a test mail to check if the settings are okay. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Send. If you get this error message, you want to go ahead and check your Gmail to ensure that enable less secured app is enabled. So you want to check if it's on or off. So if it's off, you want to turn it on. So let's go ahead and check mine. So whatever email server you're using just ensure that your ports are open always open up the ports so that you can set up your emails without issues so this is mine it's off here you can see that So I want to go ahead and turn that on. Then try sending a test mail again to see if it works. send yeah so it worked fine for me let's go ahead and take a look this is the email i sent it to so you can see the test email so once you get this test email it means your settings is fine so you want to go ahead and save the settings go back to your crm and save the settings so guys this is how to set up your email notification for your crm see you guys in my next video 
which is going to be workflow management so i've gone ahead to customize our case management module in our effects video if you have not seen that i'll link it in the description as well as the top of the screen so try as much as possible to watch that before you continue with this so we'll be writing workflow in our next video and trust me you do not want to miss that till then happy learning bye